Good morning, everyone. Darius Stella here to present our Macro Minute for Tuesday, November 16th, 2021. Starting with markets, we got stocks up, commodities up, crypto down, dollar down, and global bond yields down. Uh, big movers this morning got net gas up 3%, Bitcoin down 5%, Ethereum down 6%. Uh, on the economic front, we have more evidence of the persistence of bottom-up macro regime reflation in Europe. As a reminder, bottom-up macro regime reflation is when both growth and inflation are trending higher simultaneously. Uh, free at French headline CPI come out at 3.2% in October. That's the highest number we've seen since September 2008. Uh, its core CPI accelerated to 1.8% uh, in October. That's the highest figure we've seen since October 2008. Italian headline CPI accelerated to 3.2% in October as well. That's the highest figure we've seen since September 2012. Uh, its core CPI faded a little bit to 1.3% in October. That's the lowest number we've seen in a couple months. We had Dutch consumer spending uh, accelerate to 4.6% year over year in September. That's the highest figure we've seen in a few months. Uh, largely confirming evidence of our post-Delta bounce view in the U.S. economy. Um, the Empire Manufacturing Survey came out yesterday at 309 That's the highest figure we've seen in a few months. Uh, with respect to today's probable range setups, so overbought signal in the U.S. dollar versus the Canadian loonie, oversold signal, uh, there are no oversold signals, uh, S&P 500 minus 1.5% downside versus 1.6% upside, WTI minus 5.5% downside versus 7.4% upside, Bloomberg dollar index minus 1.3% downside versus 0.5% upside, 10-year treasury yield, a little bit of a fair fight has emerged there, minus 13 basis points of downside versus 17 basis points of upside. And then in crypto, uh, we got uh, taking it to the chart here. We got a, a, a overbought, oversold signal rather in Bitcoin. So you know, kind of getting an opportunity there <clears throat> for those of you who not have uh, allocated to crypto exposure. We remain quite bullish. Um, we do believe that over the next few weeks, you could see a recovery to the upper boundary of the problem range charts. It's not going to happen overnight in a straight line. This is a you know one to two week process with respect to the timing of these signals. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Maybe we'll see a uh, trip to the upper boundary by the end of this month or the early part of next month. Uh, Ethereum's oversold as well, 0% downside versus 24% upside. And then lastly, gold minus 4% downside versus 0.7% upside. So with that, Darius Stell presenting our Macro Minute for Tuesday, November 16, 2021. Best of luck out there today.